NFL or Game of Thrones? Easy. Of course it's- You know what? No. No. Nope. Not an easy question. Can't answer both. So first off, 1500 subscribers. Woo! Second off, brand personalities. So I double majored in college and one of those majors was marketing. Though I'm not totally sure what I really wanted to do with marketing. I'm pretty sure when I started I wanted to do something with commercials. That petered out and I realized I could double major so I wasn't overly concerned. And for the most part so far, and of course it's really early on, but in my own personal business I haven't really found the marketing portion of it to be all that exciting. But one of the things that I learned about that I think about literally constantly is brand personalities. Which is kind of like personification for brands. They're human-like attributes that people can relate to. It is what marketing people are obsessed with trying to create around their brand. Basically, they want to create an image or style that their consumers can relate to. There are five main types. Excitement, sincerity, ruggedness, competence, and sophistication. Which is just about as textbook as this video is going to get. I do believe very strongly in brand personalities, and I am very resistant to straying away from mine. For example, whenever I go to buy anything, I do loads of research. Find out what's good, what isn't, what works, what are the common drawbacks of certain options, as many reviews as I can get my hands on. Now, last year when I was looking to buy my truck, it didn't matter what all of my research led to, what all of the signs were pointing to, I knew in no lifetime was I going to buy a Toyota. Why? brand personality. It has to do with my perception of that brand. To me, no Toyota has ever had mud on it. I am even consciously aware that that can't possibly be the case, but it does not matter. That is my perception of that brand. So quickly, let's dive into a quick battle of the brands. Android versus Apple, I go very, very, very very much Apple. Ryzen versus AT&T. You know it. Lowe's versus Home Depot probably doesn't apply to you guys as much as it does me, but I will tell you right now, Lowe's. Pepsi versus Coke. I know this one can't just be me. It has to be Coke, right? Although, have you ever been in the restaurant and ordered Coke and they're like, oh, I'm sorry, is Pepsi all right? I've always just wanted to be like, no. PlayStation versus Xbox. This one may just be because of Halo, but Xbox all the way. Splenda versus Sweet and Low versus Sugar versus something called Stevia. <laughs> Sweet and Low, but I can't really attribute this one to branding. It's just what I've always drank. Now, at the end of the day, all of these products are incredibly comparable and probably both serve the same function to a greater extent, but that doesn't mean I'm not very much on my side of all of these. So for my question of the day, where do you land on any of those brands, all of those brands, and why? And is there any one brand in particular that you have a particular allegiance to? Leave it in the towel section down below, and Jay, that is everything I've got for you today, man. I will see you on Tuesday.